Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I am here to review Independence Day to celebrate the 4th of July. So, Independence Day is about all of these aliens coming over to Earth, take over it, so it's up to Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum to go out there and stop those aliens, America. So before I do review Independence Day, my awesome guest star, Justin Watches Movies, is going to review it. So, Justin... The spotlight is yours, buddy. Thank you, 22 Tiger Dude, for allowing me to be on your channel here to discuss Independence Day. Watching Independence Day is like a tradition. You open presents with your family on Christmas. You carve turkeys on Thanksgiving. You watch Independence Day on Independence Day. The first time I ever watched Independence Day was a few years ago, actually. My grandma used to watch this film a lot when I grew up, but I actually never sat down and watched it. It didn't interest me growing up, but a few years ago, I wanted to watch it, and it's a pretty good film. It's not that Oscar-worthy film. What it is is a mindless action film that you can sit back and enjoy. I'm sure everybody knows the plot of Independence Day, Aliens try to take over and Will Smith says no and destroys them. It's directed by Roland Emmerich and has a pretty big cast and I think it's a very important film in history. You had decent CGI, you had a lot of different stories weaved into one, a long action film, and a film that overall won the hearts of millions. What I really like about Independence Day is that it has a diverse cast. With a diverse cast comes diverse characters. You have all these different type of characters and each one of them has something important to do in this movie. One doesn't work without the other and all together they just kill aliens. It's a film that you know that the action is going to deliver and you're going to have fun with it. I'm not going to sit here and want to watch a boring film over and over again for Independence Day. I'm going to want to watch a film that I know the action is going to be fun, the characters are fun, and overall, the movie is going to be fun. And that's what Independence Day is. Everything about this movie is fun. So if some of my friends want to say, let's watch a movie on Independence Day, I'm going to say, we're going to watch Independence Day, nothing else. So Independence Day, I'm going to go ahead and give a B plus. This is Just Watch Movies with his review of Independence Day, starring Will Smith, Bill Pullman, um, Jeff Goldblum, and a lot of other people. And it's directed by Roland Emmerich, I know that for sure. So 22 Tiger Dude, thank you once again for allowing me to be on your channel here to discuss Independence Day. It's always a great time when I get to be on your channel. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Just Watch Movies and 22 Tiger Dude for upcoming movie reviews. And once again, 22 Tiger Dude, I know you got it and I got it too. I always will have Tiger Power! Thank you so much, Justin, for reviewing Independence Day. So, Independence Day, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it is one of the cheesiest movies I've ever seen in my life, and I loved every moment of this movie. This is a movie that literally knows exactly what it is. Like I told you, it's very cheesy. I am so aware that this is such a cheesy movie with so many cheesy one-liners and you have your stupid moments. You also have a character that goes, David, David, oh my God, David, what's going on? Like, <laughs> what kind of voice is that? <laughs> I don't have to really turn my brain off to really have a fun time with Independence Day because I actually do think the storyline is very well written and I thought the characters were actually very well written. And not only do I think the action sequences in this movie are just awesome, but I also really enjoyed the character interactions. I really cared about these characters. I was rooting for them and I really wanted them to succeed with all of these aliens taking over our world. I thought Bill Pullman was great as the president. Jeff 
Goldblum is awesome in this movie. He has a lot of one-liners that just have me cracking up. And then you have Will Smith too, who was also just very charismatic and just acted so well. I felt like the acting here, everyone was really self-aware of what this movie is all about and for what they were given with the script, which I thought was very well written. I thought everyone did a really good job with their part. Once Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum meet each other around like say the final 40 minutes, they had a very good back and forth with each other. Disaster movies, they're not really known to have great character moments. I felt like this movie found enough time to balance having your awesome action sequences, but it had enough time for you to feel some sympathy for the characters. That direction by Roland Emmerich is fantastic. And the action is going on. I am having a blast. I am just smiling and I'm just having the time of my life. This is what movies do. You just wanna have so much fun. You just wanna be immersed into the world. And I loved being in the world of Independence Day. I also love the score to this movie as well. This is a movie that defines being very patriotic. This movie it's obviously, oh, go America all over it. And look, I can understand why there will be people that don't like this movie because for it just being cheesy and stupid or just being to go America. But I really felt like the preachiness of go America really works for a film like Independence Day. And the climax for Independence Day Holy crap, that was the moment I was just cheering, smiling, and laughing at the same time because of how awesome it is and how cheesy it is because there's a lot of hilarious one-liners. There's a moment in the climax where a pilot says, Up yours! <laughs> I think, honestly, it is a great movie, even with its cheesy one-liners and its stupid moments. Roland Emmerich really knew the kind of movie they were going for. The cast knew the type of movie they were going for. If I could just point out maybe a small gripe I had with this film, it's just that here and there I feel like some of the visuals could have looked better. Most of the visuals in this movie I thought were incredible. They were great, especially for the time this movie was made, which it came out in 1996. But there were shots here and there where I thought it looked really fake and I thought they could have been polished better. Overall, guys, I freaking love Independence Day. I love the cheesy one-liners. I love the cheesy action set pieces. I love the characters. The actors were great. I actually thought the writing was fantastic because of what it wanted to accomplish for a blockbuster. And Roland Emmerich does such a great job directing this movie. So I'm sure you all are expecting this by now. I am giving Independence Day four out of four stars. I could see why people wouldn't like this movie. You know, it's all about opinions. So, that's the great thing about opinions. You know, you could just form your own point of view. And that's why I'm gonna ask you guys this. Comment down below and let me know what did you think of Independence Day. And I also wanna give a huge thank you to Justin Watches Movies for being here in this review to give his own thoughts on Independence Day. He's a very cool guy. He has an awesome channel. He loves movies. So if you guys wanna check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description below. So everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!